All right, guys, Andy here. If you would like to build a desert settlement, where do you start? How do you do it? I'm suggesting building in the five by five building system, which I like. It keeps everything centered and you can expand it and everything joins on perfectly. Diana Rubin is the builder responsible for this amazing desert settlement. If you'd like to build just like this, then stay watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. And you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Azura, where I'm doing live streams. A lot of my building development work goes on on Twitch. So how do we build this? Well, for your convenience, I have lined up all the ingredients that we need to build this epic, epic, epic desert town. What do you think about that, villager? Exactly. That's what I would have said. Hmm. Uh, very, very quickly, let's fly through. You get an idea of the elements that are involved, do you? Well, I've broken it down. I have separated all these things like the bridges, the buildings, the awnings, the sunshades. Is that the same thing? The boats, the canals, the tall buildings, the low buildings, the shops, the houses, the olive gardens and the canals. It is all isolated for you, even this wonderful irrigated farm. So let's learn how to do this bit by bit. So first of all, we're going to start with a standard five by five house. Let's learn how to build this. So I've got the basics uh, started over here. So this is a normal sandstone. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and that's five. So it's a five by five square using the five by five building system. Add another three blocks on top. And then you've got your choice of walls. First of all, I'm gonna try terracotta. And last side is here. Of course, one of these sides would probably be a door. One, the other three sides would be windows as well. So there you go. Uh, on top, I'm going to go for some cut sandstone. And then around the sides, we're going to go for some sandstone slabs. Not around the sides, but in the middle. Sandstone slabs. And I think that looks particularly nice from the inside. Uh, down on the base here, just some normal sandstone would be fine as well. You've got your choice. You might want to put some wooden blocks in there, maybe some spruce would look quite good as a floor as well. But there you go, plenty of room up there. I like these, I like these very much. So on top, we're gonna to go for some sandstone and some sandstone slabs. So let me grab the sandstone. Sandstone goes in the corners, one, two, three, four. And then make little L shapes in the corners like that. There we go. And then on the very corners again at the top, you put slab, 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 and in the middle here. Great system from Ruben, brilliant system. How cool does that look? I think it looks particularly excellent. And same sort of thing, for some reason, is missing from that one. So there we go, that just finishes things off. So the next stage would be just a little variation. I'm building in Minecraft 1.13, soon to be moving most of my builds into Minecraft 1.14, but in Minecraft 1.13, if you've got it, and hopefully you have got this version, you get this beautiful, gorgeous block, this smooth sandstone. And if you haven't got smooth sandstone in your version of Minecraft, then maybe you can come up with an alternative as well. Sand, sand, just sand would look quite good as well. Obviously, it's not as easy to build with, but it would look quite cool as well. So there we go, smooth sandstone, terracotta, and that's what we do um, for the, the basic shape, the basic shape. Something else you might want to do, I don't know if I touch on this later on, is instead of glass, you could actually use, I think this looks really, really deserty as well. You could actually just use um, fence posts. So stick your fence posts where you want them. So here we've got fence posts on top. So this is a nice variation here. Once you've built your five by five house, instead of going for these kind of like little miniature desert crenellations here with the slabs and the, and the sandstone slabs and the full blocks, just go for some simple ochus with his fences on top of us and you're good to go us. Um, oak logs look really nice kind of sticking out like this. I think they look particularly cool. Don't they look cool? Um, if you want a variation on that, what you could do is grab, obviously you've got all these buttons as well, and these look pretty cool as well. Maybe you don't want these big logs sticking out all over the place, you could just have some buttons as well, wooden buttons. You've got a bit, nice big choice as well. Okay, so what have we done over here? Well, we've simply stuck two of these houses together. I'm actually just gonna put a bit more daylight on this. Let's turn it to 1400, it's a little bit more bright. There we go. Um, yeah, stuck, stick two of the houses together. So it was a simple five by five 
building rule the share these ones get shared so this is actually nine blocks one two three one two three one two three nine blocks long shared middle block and that's your double house there so how do we do the crenellations on top well we do the exact same thing go for your l shapes in the corner like that get your slabs on top of the corners like that and then I'm sure you can figure out how to sort this out yourselves. You go slab, full block, slab, full block, slab. And that looks mighty fine. We'll just check that's okay. Yep, that's exactly right. So same on the other side. Slab, full block, slab, full block, slab. And the sides are pretty much done for you. Slab and slab. So that's how to join two together. We like that very much. Of course, you don't need to do these kind of crenellations on top. You could do this design as well, which is, as you can see right here, just using some fence posts on top. And these are alternative windows. And this is like a little store room we're building. So we've put two five by five houses together. We've mixed up some terracotta and smooth sandstone for a bit of variation as well. We've put some decoration with some potted cactus as well. And we're just putting these in like this and it acts like a little bit of a storeroom, especially when you open it up from the side. So this is one of Ruben's amazing ideas. Just open this up from the side, put some stairs in there, and you can go crazy with some pots. I would imagine these are big jars or pots of olives like that, or maybe figs. Jars of figs or olives would be kind of a deserty plant. Doesn't that look cool? I love this. Okay, so the next one here is maybe a little bit of shade at the side. You definitely want a bit of shade in the desert. I've been in the desert, oh my goodness, 42 degrees Celsius. Extremely hot walking through the desert. I had diarrhea. I'm walking through the desert at 42 degrees for six hours. I was in a, a bad state. I was in a very bad state. Anyway, um, so the, the awnings um, on the long side, they go along seven blocks. One, two, and it's not there either. It's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you've got a little bit of terracotta just peeking out half a block of terra, ter, terra poca, terracotta pop, uh, peeking out like that. And then we're going to come down by one like that and just come across. And then down by one again and come across. And that means that um, the supports, the oak is wood as fences posts come up there. And you could use spruce as well. I think I used spruce. Uh, over on that one and you can see on the side ones here we go all the way along on the side all five blocks here whereas these ones we miss the ones out on the side and I think that looks really really cool when you do that okay moving on we've got this beautiful awning here with I think the orange carpet is an excellent choice we've used orange and white carpet in this city and I think that's a great choice let's see how to do this design over here oh we don't need you or you why are you in the wrong place? You should be there and there. So here we've made a little platform here. You can see this is exactly one, two, three, four blocks long, leading into the next five by five system like that. Um, here we're gonna actually put down some sandstone stairs. Instead of just going like this, one, two, three, why not turn one of them in like that? Just creates a nice little bit of variation in the stairs as well you could even do one in the middle there just to make them look a bit more um used and worn um obviously stairs do become used and worn okay so when you've done that when you've got a nice platform there then you want to come up by three fence posts in these positions again this fits in nicely to the five by five uh, building system you've got the gap of three between all your uprights and that's pretty much the five by five system in a nutshell a gap of three between all your uprights Okay, now these trapdoors need to go in exactly here, like this. Uh, don't place them here, otherwise the trap, the uh, the carpet won't be able to go on top. You need the carpet to be able to go on top of the trapdoor. So make sure you place them at the top of these blocks, right here. And I'll show you from above exactly what I've done. So you should have some little gaps where the fence posts are, and then stick on your carpet. What I haven't done is put on these oak bits yet, these oak beams sticking out, and they fit really nicely just there, and the carpet integrates beautifully around them. Doesn't that look good? I like it when things just work out like this in Minecraft. 
If you're building any desert or any 5x5 builds, please send them in to me on Instagram. I would love to see your builds and I'll reply to your message straight away. So there we go. That looks pretty cool as well. Um, over on this one, we've simply used white carpet and that also looks very good as well. White carpet, very good at deflecting or reflecting heat, I would have thought. So there we go. White carpet looks great as well, especially on a single house where you've just got maybe a small dwelling in your uh, village or town and you just want a small bit of a shade from the sun. Nice bit of shade. So what is next? Well, over here you can see we've made a beautiful little porch. Isn't this cute? I love this porch. By the way, this block here, this oak stairs, this is not possible. We can do this but we couldn't do what we had there before because that's done with world edit. Some of the, one of the perks of building in Java edition on the PC is you can turn some stairs without them being connected to anything. Like for example, this one here is turned as well. That's done with world edit and that is just not possible in the version, in many, many versions of Minecraft. Um, okay, so how do we build this little porch? Okay, so we've got our, a little double five by five house here. We have got our blocks in the corners done nicely as well. Um, we've got a bit of a stair right here and on the side here what we want to do is do something maybe like like that and then we let's turn that one just for a little tiny touch of detail in there isn't that really cute and then here we're going to put some slabs in here so this starts to build up our porch nicely there around here we can do the same sort of thing we can go like that creating a little touch of interest in there um, these little details really make the build Again, we want some nice slabs to come along here and in the middle you could place um, something like that would look fine as well. Um, over here on the corner, we're gonna do the same thing. In fact, I've already done it down here and then we're gonna have some slabs up top and I can replace one of those slabs with some sandstone stairs. Let's turn that one. Looking really cool, looking really cool. I love this. Um, just to complete your porch look, obviously you would build up a nice bit of roofage and um, what you could do is just bring this across like that um, something nice you could do on the roof here I would have thought would be some oak trap doors depends what you're gonna have up there you might have another story but some oak trap doors would just let the Sun through and create a really nice pattern on the wall if you've got Java edition with some shaders look at that lighting Ooh, we like that and then obviously just stick in some tables and chairs to your to your specifications, to your liking. It's gonna go for some simple spruce fence and brown carpet. Trap doors might look quite good as well. And to create the illusion of a bit more space, you could do maybe something like that as well. Cool. So there we go. That is a little teeny tiny porch as well. I'm sure you could actually build on this idea as well. You could even have a bit more privacy if you wanted you could go absolutely crazy like that there we go pretty cool huh hey <laughs> we've got a guest he is guesting into one of my videos this is Peshkatch, aka Tino Tihon Chernev all the way from Ukraine one of the best young chess players on the planet yeah I am recording you are in the video <laughs> should we move on we'll try and we'll try and work around Tihon <laughs> I don't know if this will work. We may have to cut. <laughs> anyway, what is next? We have... I'm just going to type something else. It's definitely going to be typing something else, I bet you. Uh, I make upgrades already. He is, he's doing some upgrades as well. We may have a look at them at the end of the video. Hey, have a look at this. So what do we have that's new on this one here? This one's got some really cool uh, stairs at the side. I'm totally getting put off. I cannot work under these conditions. It's got some nice stairs at the side and it has this beautiful awning here as well. So let's learn how to, to construct this. Oh, one thing to, to think about when you have double height, double height. Well, let me just take a little bit of time to learn how to do the double height as well. Sure, in uh, about 15 minutes. So here... Um, we've got one and then your one two three okay as you can see one two three and then up here we've got that so that is your normal five by five height 
and as you can see it's five by five in width but it's actually five blocks high so your first level is five blocks high and your next level as you can see is four blocks high four blocks high so it actually makes quite a pleasing square a nine by nine square so remember first house is five blocks second house is four blocks high okay um here we've got um these oak wood things i think they look better and ruben agreed well it's his design really to be honest he put them at the top as you can see he's put them at the top so when you have a double story you put these oaks at the top if you have a single story you can put them down at that level obviously okay hopefully that makes sense so here you can see on this double high we've got them at the top there and you could even do them around on that bit there as well okay so how do we put in our staircase well build a little five by five section onto the side here this one looks like it's a shop as well because you've got oak fences with a little gap as if you've got a little serving area for your shop but how do, oh, how do we get the stairs on well break these three blocks here one two three and then start to put in your stairs like that and just bring them down like so then we can fill in the gap like that something else you can do is just turn these blocks as well and I think that looks really really cool when you do that just turn those blocks hmm. what I'm actually gonna do is just fill these gaps in because it's actually quite difficult to do this without these filled in turn 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 like that look at that extra smidgen of detail you could even do it from that side as well looks like the stairs are actually a little bit more worn down what do we have up here we've simply got some um beautiful white carpet up here boop, 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 boop. there we go doesn't that look cool you really start to add a lot of nice character to your desert now okay what's the next thing we're going to learn oh we're going to learn this beautiful bit of sun shading this with signs and oak up here so how to do this well um, create yourself a nice little bit of platform if it's an upper platform you've got a nice choice of just putting on a normal bit of crenellations here like we've been doing um, for quite a lot today stick on two oak fences like that and then we're gonna grab some oak logs and some signs and the oak logs go right opposite and on top of your pence posts there like that so what do we do with our signs? Our signs, we're gonna need four signs in total. We're gonna to put one there. Uh, holding shift, I can put another one there. Shift, oh, I don't want an S. And there, boom, and there's four signs. And then we're gonna just do the same again here. One, two, three, four there we go and obviously you can do the same on that side as well boom boom and this is what you end up with doesn't it look great i think it's a, a really nice way of adding a, a, a gorgeous amount of shade to your builds great okay moving on what's next right we've got a canal we've got a bridge to learn and we've also got this cute little balcony down here again these are world edited turned blocks we'll not be able to do that without world edit so our balcony would look like that so let's build the balcony um first Uh, so the balcony would go here. So I'm going to go, this is this is the level we need to be at, okay? That's the level we need to be at. And then underneath, we're going to go one and two, like that. And then we're going to grab some of these slabs and they go in between. But we're not quite finished. I want to turn these ones around like that. I do need to drop into high pixel actually make sure i, I keep my my youtuber rank um, to finish off this balcony is a bit of oak fence as well so that looks pretty cool and you've got a teeny tiny little i'll call it a juliet balcony a little juliet balcony okay so for the canal um how wide do you think the canal is think of a number how wide do you think that canal is if you said seven well done it should be seven blocks because everything has got a gap of three an upright and another gap of three so if you want a nice uh, gap between your houses then you want your canal to be one two three four five six seven blocks wide seven blocks wide let's just get rid of a little bit of grass here
and um, we can also get rid of a layer of dirt as well and keep on going get rid of all of the grass get rid of all this dirt make your canal as long as you want it to be definitely enough uh, breaking blocks for me I'm gonna reach for my magic wand here and just gonna set the base of this canal to sand doesn't that look cute okay on the sides here I'm gonna go down two into my canal on all the uprights with these cut sandstone blocks all the uprights are gonna be like that and the in-betweens are going to be just normal sandstone blocks. There we go. And of course, you would do exactly the same on the other side. says I don't place blocks in my video there you go boom um, oak logs and oak stairs and you also want some oak slabs for this next bit okay so this is only part of it so let me show you exactly what to do to build this beautiful canal as you can see the canal is pretty cool we've got what we've done so far and then we need to build up these little I don't know this is where you would collect the goods what should we call this kind of a dock Kind of a long boardwalk or dock. I think it looks great. Simply look for your uprights and then place a block there on all these uprights. You need to do the same here. Stick them out into the water like that. These ones can, whoops, these ones can go back another one, two, three, four blocks and you should line up with your next build. One, two, three, four. Whoops, like that, there we go. In between here, just some simple, oops, simple slabs, there we go. And at the back here, more simple slabs, like that. Um, in here, simple slabs, no, yes, no. <laughs> in here, oak stairs, oak stairs go in there and then oak slabs. And if you want, you can actually start to turn one of these oak stairs for a bit of variety, um, something like that. You could even make a little gap as well. It just creates a little kind of a see-through gap there. And just keep on filling these in like that. I'll only do a couple more. You get the idea of how this beautiful dock actually just works. And of course, you would do exact same thing on the other side. As you can see, I've done some of that already. Oh, it's very windy here. I can feel the wind hitting the window in my house. There we go. So that is your dock area. And obviously, you've got to get busy with your water. Um, I'm going to just um, do it with some world edit. But doesn't that look great? I think that looks a really, really nice addition to, um, to your desert town. I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, so now we need to learn how to do this bridge at the back. So let me grab some ingredients for our bridge. And we kind of need to put it in the right place as well. Hmm. What would be a good place for our bridge? I'm going to put the bridge right here. But that's the block you want. Remember, you always have a gap of three between your uprights. So there's an upright, gap of three. So the next upright must go there. So the next upright must be over here like that. We'll just put in an extra bit right here. That would go there. And the next upright would be there. So there are the foundations for our bridge. What I'm going to do is come up another two blocks. Like that. 
And then we're gonna grab a block which we've not even used before and we could probably use a little bit more and that is some uh, really gorgeous chiseled sandstone. Where is it even? Where is a chiseled sandstone? But here we go. Chiseled sandstone. Boom. And this would go here. So not only do, you, do I think the chiseled sandstone should be used in the bridge, but actually I think you can actually potentially use the chiseled sandstone on the corners of your desert houses as well, because I think that looks pretty smart. Anyway, back to our bridge, back to our bridge. We definitely want some cut sandstone to go in between like that. And then we're going to use some chiseled sandstone right in the very middle like that. Let's cut sandstone up here and chiseled in the, right in the very middle, kind of like the keystone or the middle block of your bridge like that. Okay, uh, these would continue over onto whatever house you have got. I'm just going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. And obviously, if you've got another house there, that would join on nicely as it's just joined on nicely to that house right there. So there we go. That's looking mighty fine. To support these uprights, we're going to grab some slabs. And these, these slabs here go under like that. I think this looks really deserty. Um, it's, you could use upside down stairs. I think these slabs look really, really cool. It's definitely a conscious decision made by Ruben to do that. Um, on top of the chiseled, we're going to go for full blocks like that. Full blocks just like that. Doesn't that look cool? Full blocks like that. But not there. <laughs> not there. Um, and then full blocks there. So same over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Kind of makes sense, right? And then we're going to grab some slabs to go on top. There we go. And simply, simply, simply slab and slab there. So that is actually what our bridge looks like. Actually, that's not quite right. These need to be full blocks. What a mistake at the maker. Full blocks and then slabs in between. There we go. That is what our bridge should look like. Same on the other side as well. Full block, full block, either side of the middle, keystone, and then slab, slab, slab in there. And obviously, you just continue on like that to link it on up. The full block there, the full block there. Full block and full block to join it onto the next building. And there we go. That is your bridge pretty much done. Obviously, you need some flooring as well. And as you can see, Ruben's just simply used some slabs, some slabs of sandstone um, I would definitely put these across here on the joins on the 5x5 system upright you'd put them across there that's really cool to do and then you've got these beautiful upper upper slabs of sandstone there and obviously you just continue on in this direction however far your bridge is going in from underneath it looks really really cool doesn't that look great what a beautiful bridge design. Okay, so um, now we can move on to the next thing, which would be these cool little canal boats, little barges or canal boats, little skiffs, and these would be used to carry uh, goods up and down your canal. Jungle slabs, I need some um, cut sandstone. What? No, jungle stairs, jungle slabs, and some... Ocus woodus trappus dorus. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just venture out into the middle of my canal and put down three teeny tiny little jungle slabs there. I'm going to go jungle stairs upside down, put them back to being slabs, and then I'm going to go for an upper slab there. And that is it. Obviously, hit some Ocus trapidorus maximus on the side. And you're good to go with your little boat. This is definitely a mistake in here. This should be like that. There we go. So doesn't that look cool? I love that. Right. How to do the farm. How to do the farm next. Let me take away kind of the secret ingredient ingredients to the farm. By the way, on the side of the canal, as you can see, we've put um, some simple slabs. Now, how wide do you think this farm is? Remember, we're going to try and stick to the 5x5 five five building system. How wide do you think that farm is? Um, how wide do you think that farm is? 
Well, if you said 11, very well done indeed. Remember, we want to build the 5x5 system. This is your upright block here. So you've got a gap of three, boom, gap of three, boom, gap of three, boom. And there'll be another gap of three to your next building. Keeps everything looking good, I think. Okay, so to surround this farm, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Did I say 11? That's 12. 12 blocks. Uh, however long you want to make your farm, well, I guess that would really be up to you. Definitely would be up to you. Let me um, let me line it up with this upright here. So this is going to be our farm. I don't, I don't think this is quite as far as that one over there. Never, never mind. We'll make a smaller farm over here. I like a nice challenge. Um, we need to get rid of all this grass here. Like that. There we go. And we're going to cut in some irrigation canals as well somewhere to bring in the water like that so i'm going to just um yeah i guess i could stick to the system and just have gaps of three between my irrigation canals as well and then bring this along again on one of the uprights everything just magically lines up so this is where my water is going to pour in and flood my irrigation canals and i could just quickly grab some water get yourself a good looking hole and get busy making your farm obviously i'm not going to do all the farms in this video but you get the idea over here you've got a choice uh ruben's gone for i think some some kind of full blocks here um you can make things up i, I would maybe go for do we have some stairs yeah let's grab some stairs i'm gonna put some stairs in here and here i would probably do something like that and then a little flap here as if you're managing to control <laughs> as if you're managing to control the flow of water with that so you could push that down and it would cut off the water once your fields are all irrigated as you can see Ruben over here came up with a different solution as well just use some solid blocks there as well which looks fine as well so there we go there is our crops irrigated and having them kind of go in a cross shape here with the water really nice touch as well I love that so you got canal water feeding your farm Okay, the next idea is simply how to make a little bridge between your houses. Couple of ways of making a bridge between your houses. I've got some sandstone stairs and they can go in here, just below where you want the bridge to be. Like that. Just below where you want the bridge to be. And then we're gonna come across here with these full blocks like this. Um, that should definitely be filled in there. Oh. That's in the wrong place. That should be right here. What a mistake I don't make. Uh, and then I'm going to grab some trap doors and they can just go across. Like that. Doesn't that make an epic, absolutely epic looking bridge? I love that. If you don't like that design, uh, you can go for maybe Ruben's design here, which is a little bit different from the one I just did. So let's have a go at this design instead. It's maybe looking a little bit better on the sides here. What you've got here is your sandstone stairs there and there with sandstone slab there and then boom, 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 slab, slab, slab across. I think this is actually a much better design than from the one I did with your slab under there. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah, definitely good. You can also obviously take out these trap doors. If you don't like the trap doors, Ruben's done this as well in different parts. He just put slabs across as well, which looks very, very good as well. There we go. The other thing you definitely want to be doing is adding a little bit of detail to your builds. So you could add things like um, here's some nether wart as if it's um, barrels of berries, maybe. Here we've got some terracotta with signs and then a little pot with a cactus and some dark oak leaves looking oh he's back he's back he's wondering what i'm doing <laughs> best catch is back uh, this looks like a planted pot and then over here you've got some spruce planks it looks like jars of olives obviously in minecraft 1.14 you've got real barrels as well which look fantastic very last thing and thank you so much for watching so far is to definitely um <laughs> definitely have some olive groves as well so these look really good with grass paths um coarse dirt 
and then spruce fences and you can see you've gone uh, he's gone for this kind of l shape or t-shaped design with some skeleton heads probably representing the figs or the olives as well or maybe it's grapes whatever you want doesn't that look great we're going to nip over here that's all i'm going to show you in this design the rest of it is over to you you've got to add all these together i don't want to take away from your creativity so you've got to blend all these ideas together as you can see ruben has blended them together like an absolute master builder that he is you've got a little kind of a porch here you've got um five by five builds you've got these little nooks and crannies here which i really really like isn't that great and then round here you've got some stairs intricate stairs going up in between the builds as well you've got two levels in fact he's even gone up to three levels isn't that wonderful so you've got five blocks remember for your first and then four blocks and then four blocks for your subsequent levels up and of course finish it off with your roof decoration as well but look at the little nooks and crannies and balconies that you get i really really like that again with world edit these have not joined on properly um here's a little kind of a blacksmith area as well this is one of my favorite bits and you can do things like put oak stairs across to make some beautiful little shop serving areas as well again some world edit mistakes there with the glass we've got an awning here above a path so plenty path blocks look really really cool as well isn't it great inspiration? And of course, you can go absolutely crazy like Ruben's done and build a temple. <laughs> Just a big, simple pyramid. But uh, then adding lots of five by five buildings right into the pyramid actually makes an effective temple as well. Perfect buildings, says Peshkatch, and I couldn't agree more. Doesn't this look absolutely wonderful? And if you have some opulence, some richness, maybe you've got some pumps and some water coming down into your build and into your canal as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you do like this kind of thing. And if you want to download this build, all of it, and all my other upgrade videos from 2019, then do check out Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Izuda. From just $3, you could be downloading all my 5x5 upgrade builds. Thanks again for watching. Um, let's go and check out what Peshcatch has done. Um, TPA to Peshcatch. Go to your upgrade, please. And we'll see. He's been upgrading, maybe not in the desert style, but he's been doing some 5x5 five five upgrades. So let's um, find out what Peshkatch has been up to. He's a fairly new builder in Minecraft, and he's been doing some upgrades. So here he has started with um, a little 5x5 five five ordinary house. And he's added on some awnings, some uh, fences. Oh, I like this fence going up. I don't do that. I would maybe do that in the future. That looks really, really cool. I try five by five, he says, and then he's going for another upgrade over here. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between these two. Oh no, sorry, we start over here. Duh! This is where we started, and then we go on to this stage here, and then he's added on here, and he's already on to his fourth part uh, of the upgrade. What's the difference between that one and that one? Hmm. Oh, maybe he's working on his fourth one. Maybe he's yet to actually upgrade this, but he's having fun making these upgrades i hope you are having fun as well and thank you very much indeed for watching i hope you make some great desert villages i really do please send me some pictures on instagram or find someone who's got instagram and then you can send me the pictures i would love to see them thank you very much indeed take care for now ciao ciao in the blocks be with you